where schools are, are where children can walk to. So it's accessible first by distance. It's in their community. It's next door. It's part of their neighborhood. But then, just as important, it's affordable. It doesn't matter how good of a school you make for families living under the poverty line, if they can't afford it. You have to have something that even on their limited means, they're able to pay for. If you want to serve the truly poor, families living below the poverty line, you have to come up with a service at a very low price point that's actually accessible. That also means you're going to have to have a very large business, a very big volume, so that it, it can work. So we'll break even when we're around 500,000 pupils. Today we have 65,000. We're getting there. But so right now we have investment capital that essentially bridges that gap. Like many other startups, organizations, where you, you have equity investors who are willing to wait for you, for your business to actually come to fruition. The secret is definitely the scalability. Otherwise, you couldn't do it at this price point. So to, to reach this income level, you know, to only charge the equivalent of an average of $5 a month per child. You have to have hundreds of thousands of customers. And so that relationship between affordability and scale, I think is a, is a very strong one. We acquire the land, we build the schools, we train our teachers, we have our own quality assurance and professional development coaches. They audit the schools constantly. The quality assurance team sees every school every seven to ten days. Every school has a professional development coach who comes in every month and that's critical to this whole system. We're a very data-based organization. It's sometimes in education you can find um, people can get tripped up with all of the best intentions but because they might have a strong uh, political view or ideology around the right way to do something. We have no ideology. I mean, if anything, we're just an incredibly pragmatic design center that does a lot of tests around education to try to make sure that everything we do is really about a database finding that drives better pupil outcomes. When I think of partnerships, I mean, I think our greatest partnership is with our parents. You know, they, they pay the monthly school fees, which enable the schools to run that pay our teacher salaries that over time pay off the cost of building the school and all of the research that was done for the curriculum and the teacher training as well. And if they don't like what they do, they can, will go bankrupt, which is actually kind of awesome. You know, that the parent is totally in control.